Yeah, Robin, this is as close as we are going to get to this fire because the police behind us have stopped us right here and stopped everyone else. This fire about eight miles away, but it's unpredictable, dangerous, and as we know, deadly. This deadly wildfire has tripled in size overnight, grown from 2,000 acres to more than 6,000 and still 0% contained. Now it's the deadliest U.S. wildfire involving firefighters in 80 years. The fire took the lives of 19 men, part of an elite 20-member firefighter team known as the Granite Mountain Hotshots. We're devastated. We just lost 19 of some of the finest people you'll ever meet. The Hotshots were a band of brother-like crew dedicated to stopping wildfires and saving homes. When winds blew the blaze northwest of Phoenix, seen here in this time-lapse video, out of control, these Hotshots rushed in to fight. Lightning sparked the fire on Friday and spread quickly toward the small town of Yarnell amid triple-digit temperatures, low humidity, and windy conditions. These are the guys that will go out there with 40, 50 pounds of equipment and walk five miles. They'll sleep out there uh, as they try to develop fire lines and put protection between homes, natural resources, and still try to remain safe. The firefighters were forced to deploy their fire shelters, tent-like structures designed to shield flames and heat and keep in breathable air. It's one of the last fail-safe methods that a firefighter can use under life-threatening conditions. Amidst the treacherous conditions, most of the town's 700 residents were forced to evacuate. I don't know if my home's standing or not. All of a sudden, the wind just changed in a matter of seconds, and you know, maybe within a minute or two, we're pretty much inhaling smoke. The flames lit up the night sky, and smoke from the blaze could be smelled for miles. You heard in the story that they use these protective shields. You'd put your head right here, your feet at the end, and lay horizontally on the ground. Inside, you would have breathable air, but it could get up to 200 degrees on the inside, 500 on the outside, Robin.